I tweeted earlier if I should have brought a couple yeah, of cold ones for this. Too, I was going to walk in with a couple of beers. And... A couple of beers. Ron would have them. I'd probably be holding out this morning. Clearly took the character very seriously. Yeah. And and the amount of weight that you lost to be a part of that, I, I did some reading on it, but talk about that. I mean, what what did you go through to get to that point? Well, it was you know I'm sitting at 182 pounds in pretty good shape, and I've got six seven months till this comes up, and I go do some research on the guy, see what he looks like. I know I've got a job to do. My thought was I need to get down to 145. I got to 145 wasn't enough got to 135 stopped and that was it controlled meals small amounts and a pretty controlled hermetic lifestyle i mean i wasn't going out to meet somebody for dinner i wasn't going outside and playing when it was sun out because of sunshine out because i needed to get pale so i became a bit of a hermit and i had a family around me that was supporting that and so luckily in that all that time i had to write and research and read I had this great character and this great story to become a master of. And I just filled myself with it and, and had, a, had a damn good time doing it. Newsflash, y'all. Ain't nothing out there can kill Ron Woodruff in 30 days. The drugs, they just released for testing, and I know this hospital's one of the sides. I need it. It doesn't work that way, Mr. Woodruff. Where are you going? They got good meds out of Mexico. It's better than what you can get here in the States. Yes. Protein, totally non-toxic. And you can't buy this in the USA? Not approved. You could be making a fortune off of this. You look great. Actually, I look amazing. Anything to declare? Nada. They're importing illegal drugs for sale. It's a very serious offense. They're not illegal. Jennifer said you were essentially the technical advisor on this set. I I had it. I, I knew left, right, up, down, backwards, and forwards ways to about everything I was talking about. You know, and even knew spots where it was like, maybe it wasn't medically true, but Ron believed it at that time, and that's how he sold it. So it wasn't, even if it wasn't true, he had an anger, like, well, that could have been that way. And I mean, and I had, it was all from Ron's mouth and different research I'd done on where I'd hear him and I'd hear his conspiracy theories and I'd hear his arguments about why the drugs are, that he was smuggling in were helping people and what, the, what was wrong with the AZT. And so it was all stuff that I'd got from research from him. In, in this character, Ron, I mean, uh, reckless, rowdy, arrogant, ignorant, individual. All of it, man. Wild ass. Son of a bitch. Outlaw. But, but then unbelievable how he just dug into it and wanted to find answers. Well, he, ironically, he gets HIV, the, the disease that can kill him. He's given 30 days to live, and for, now he finds purpose in his life. Now he finds an angle, something he can fight for every waking minute of every day. He, now he has opposition to fight against. And that's, I know people like that. They need a life-death opposition to really emerge and come alive and find a goal, find a track in life. Sadly, that, you know, hopefully it doesn't, you don't like it when it has to get to that point for someone to do it, but it did for him. Mr. Woodruff, you've tested positive for HIV. Have you ever used intravenous drugs? Have you ever engaged in homosexual conduct? Homo, homo, you, you say homo? You made a mistake, that mm -hmm. ain't me. Mr. Woodruff, we estimate you have 30 days left. Hey, you're a guy who seems like you have a lot of purpose in living. I mean, I know it's just keep living. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so to see that character who marks it down on the calendar and gets all fired up. Well, yeah, you know, and a guy who, like I said, will go through the law, around the law, under the law. He was a, to, he, there was a smuggler side to him and a grifter side to him a mobster side to the guy that was really fun to maintain, you know, while he sort of on his way out dying physically. Uh, to see his spirit come emerging out ferociously as his body is withering away. I saw that in my own life. Was, I was a, got a personal friend who was cancer was getting him at this time. And I could see him, I saw him emerge coming out. He became bigger as his body was becoming more decrepit. Um, and it, you know, they say we use 10% of our brain. You start tapping into that 11th and 12th. I mean, I personally needed three hours less sleep a night. It's crazy. For, through this process. I lost energy from here down, but whatever energy, whatever energy I lost from here down, it sublimated and went from my neck up. Wow. 
you know. Amazing, fantastic performance. Thank you. Thank you. Right now. Nice to meet you. You as well. Now. Welcome to the Dallas Buyers Club. Are you treating these people? Uh, they're treating themselves. Well, I ain't selling drugs. I'm selling membership. Walker, Dorset, these are patients? Yes, sir. They're also the names of players on the Dallas Cowboys. That's a hell of a coincidence. What the hell is it? I have a court order permitting us to confiscate any and all non-FDA approved supplements. We need a new supply. Check Amsterdam, Ghana, and Israel. We can do business with you. Why are we here? Nice restaurant, beautiful woman. That's where I feel like a human again. You ain't alone. Mr. Woodruff, what is oh, going wow. on? People are dying. You're nothing more than a common drug dealer. TJ Strayon. Freaking homo. Oh. Let me be your ticket home.